I've just been struck by genius. What if I pretended to be dead just to see what would happen? What? Uh, I don't follow. I've always wanted to know what my funeral would be like. Now's my chance. It's brilliant. Ophelia, you've got to tell everyone I'm dead. They'll all come to the graveyard for a magnificent funeral. And then I'll jump out and surprise them. What? <laughs> if you do that, we'll have a wonderfully funny time pranking the others. I just know it. And when they find out you're alive and well after all. Right. I'm sure they'll all be so relieved they'll instantly forgive me. All right, Ophelia. Go spread the word. Tell everyone there's to be a funeral. I'll be waiting. In the meantime, as soon as I'm able to, I'll go run and hide so as not to spoil the fun. Oh. This can't possibly end well. Is this actually happening? Lady Gildenstern now believes that Gildenstern is dead. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Is this an actual quest? Like, am I seriously supposed to do this? Is this a lead? Yup. I'm supposed to tell everyone. Okay. Do you think Rosencrantz will believe me? That, <laughs> that Gildenstern is dead as they walk away right behind me? Uh, first, an odd duo. Why were you rummaging around in odd places? <gasps> yeah. uh, nothing when I'm taken by surprise to sort of uh, make strange noises. <laughs> Please. Don't tell anyone about what you saw. It'll be such an embarrassment to Gildenstern and me. We weren't up to anything nefarious, I promise. Just errands for uh, a friend. Hmm. Lady Gildenstern would like me to inform you that she's dead. Lady Rosencrantz. I'm so sorry to be there. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? What happened? I... She, uh, drowned by the docks. Came as a surprise to me, too. <sighs> this is one of her idiot pranks again, isn't it? No. No, if you're coming to tell this to me, it must be true. Oh, no, shit. Fuck, I feel awful. She's never involved someone else in a prank before. God damn it. So it's true, then. Gilda. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Fuck! This is cruel. What was she doing down by the docks? She can't swim. We both know that. Ophelia. It's so strange. I know what you're saying is true, but it doesn't feel real. Uh... You know, when my father died, it felt the same way. I expected sorrow, but nothing. Just nothing. Just the sense that the bottom's fallen out of the world. I have to make arrangements. No one else will. Please excuse me. I feel awful lying to her, but Gilda asked me to. Lady Rosencrantz shatters and will not recover. Oh my god, what the hell have I done? This timeline is a disaster. Mm -hmm. Learn about a future event in which a funeral was held for Gildenstern's death. When is it happening? Oh, like... Well, now? You're making the arrangements for the funeral... Like... Five minutes after we just talked? <laughs> what? Alright. Alright, sure. Um, Lady Gildenstern is apparently just over here. Oh, now they've moved over here. Uh, okay, well, I guess I better attend the funeral. <laughs> if I can get there before the end of the funeral. <laughs> kind of on short notice, don't you think? Middle of the damn night. Morello! <laughs> sneaking around back there. I, I think Gertrude may notice them. 
This can't truly be happening, can it? I can hardly believe it. What do I do now, Gilda? For the first time, I don't know. Gilda. I know it's too late, but I want to apologize. I was so cruel to you, and needlessly at that. All you ever wanted was to bring some cheer to this ugly, worthless world. There are few who would do such a thing. You were a rare soul. And I should never have discouraged you. I'd stop you at every turn, shout you down. Now, what am I saying? She can't hear me. It's pointless. I wish I'd said it before. So long, friend. I long thought myself fortunate to have two great friends in this world. How times change. <laughs> Surprise! I'm not dead, everyone! By everyone, they mean... Well, Gertrude who just happens to be here, and that's completely unrelated, so they're just not participating in this event at all, which is really awkward. So by all, they mean... The other lady. Rosengrantz, so that's it. What? Where is everyone? Did no one come? Really? I didn't have time to invite them. Sorry, the funeral was held literally a couple minutes away from when I talked to Rosengrantz. Not even one pity attendee? Could, could it really be a ghost? No. No. This one's flesh and blood. I can't believe no one came to my funeral. I don't understand. Gilda, I'm going to strangle you. <laughs> this is definitely the worst funeral I've ever had. Well, I suppose I really don't matter in the scheme of things, after all. Just a tragic side character in the play of life. Really don't matter. Hmm. Did you hear what Rosencrantz just said? Before they reamed you out. <sighs> a poor player who struts and frets her hour upon the stage, and then fakes her funeral, and then is heard no more. Gilda. Pranks aside, your your funeral was attended by those who truly love you. Is not enough. Ugh. Love me. Love is overrated. I want fame. I want entire harems full of fanatic admirers. I want a monument with my name on it. First and last. Lady G Wait a minute. What is my first name? <gasps> oh my god. Ophelia, what is my full name? That's how little I matter in the cosmic plan. I don't even have a first name. Is anything real anymore? <sighs> uh... You might be overthinking this a small amount, Gilda. Oh, you're right. I just need to relax. <laughs> what is going on? See, this is why I keep you around. Hmm. Hmm. You know. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. I think we should do something to celebrate. Yes! How about a party to celebrate my total uselessness to the world? With the opposite of a funeral. A tribute to nothing important. And those who fall under that label. I'll plan it. We'll have it, uh, in the woods, of course. All good liquor field binges start in the woods somewhere. And you're invited, Ophelia. Who's less important than you, after all? Uh. I resent that. <laughs> <laughs> Bit touchy, are we? Once we've all recognized our own worldly unimportance, well, acknowledging the problem is the first step in fixing it. Hmm. This is interesting. I can't believe this has played out as far as it has. Rosencrantz is down by the docks. I wonder if they're consider considering leaving. Like they said they were leaving, but... You know, d does that mean a leaving the immediate vicinity or leaving Elsinore entirely? Lady Brit is doing something in the Royal Gallery. 
Shady fucker. Um, when is this party supposed to happen? Oh. In less than an hour. Including both the ladies, Irma, Quince, and, well, me. Right, this is where it's happening. So let's just speed up time. Oh, whew, for a second I thought I was going to get stabbed. Ophelia? Yes? You've got to come quickly. I believe the queen is a danger to herself at the moment. She needs you. She's in the graveyard. Let's go. I can't. What's going on? She won't speak to anyone. I can imagine not. She's just lost her son. Is that Ophelia? Ophelia. He's dead. My little boy is dead. And he died hating me. I saw his face. How can that be possible? How can the little boy I poured my heart into want to hurt me so much? <laughs> my lady. I'm so sorry, my lady. This is all my fault. It's useless. It cannot be your fault, my sweet. I had hoped you would be my daughter in marriage someday. Now that day will never come to pass. Good night, sweet prince. Hold on for a second. Um, I just paused and Googled it. Good night, sweet prince. I had no idea that that quote that I've heard a million times and is immediately recognizable came from Hamlet. Good night, sweet prince came from Hamlet. I, my prince, he may have been led astray in the end, but we will remember him as he was before. Gertrude. It had to be done. I killed him for you. Why did you run from me? Oh yeah, this is going to be a disaster. You! Ophelia, please don't let him near me. Claudius! No. You are my wife. I made a vow to protect you. And I'll uphold that vow, no matter what. Hail, Claudius. Oh! I wasn't expecting the ghost. Hail the brother you killed. What is that? I... Oh, brother. You cannot escape the eye of heaven, brother. I came not to bring peace, but to bring a sword. Murder most foul. This is madness. This isn't- Come on then. I put you in the grave once and I'll damn well do it again. Die! Oh. Horatio. <laughs> Look upon me. Did Christ not say- Surely I am with you always, as am I with you. My black touch descends on your sullied court. Why? Ophelia. How strange and peculiar that you and I should meet now, at the end of time, at the end of this world. Dawn approaches. Find me on the first night. You are too late for this fragment to exist. It will soon melt. So they know about the time thing too. On the first night. 
Well, I think I might know where they'll appear on the first night, roughly. Just from having watched the movie. What? Ah! Oh. They're about to stab him again, and that's gonna kill me. Yep. The ghost has made itself known. Greetings. Quince. Funny that you were here. Quince? Had quite a nasty surprise back there, didn't you? I see you've become acquainted with a good friend of mine. Yes. King Hamlet. I thought he was dead. <laughs> oh, he was. Is. But death isn't quite so linear as all that, as you've no doubt observed. You see, you both share some unfinished business. As do I. What business is that? <sighs> the same business which keeps you trapped in this world, repeating indefinitely. What do you mean? And so shall I continue until you follow this thread where it might lead. Wait. What's happened to Hamlet? His eyes, they're empty. Ah. Ah. He is, shall we say, on pause. One moment. Huh. There we are. Ah. His death, I've seen it with my own eyes. And the traitor is my own... <laughs> yep, just back to the start. Worms. Worms and... Listen. Oh yeah, things are a little bit different now, because, uh, listen, Hamlet, your father's ghost, I've seen him too. What? I believe you, Hamlet. I believe you saw your father's spirit. You're not insane. Y you... Now, tell me, where did you see this spirit, and when? M midnight. On the walls. It was around the witching hour. But how did you... I Midnight on the walls. That's what he said. Hmm. Such a feeble, tender-hearted boy, that one. I shall leave you to it, then. Till then. You know where to find me, as always. Required information about the mysterious playmaster. Hamlet down knows that we know. Oh, we gain new abilities. You can now reset the time loop at any time. This will save the game and reset the loop to Thursday morning. Ophelia will remember all information she has learned, but everything else will reset. Interesting. So if you're like, this isn't leading anywhere good, we need to just do this again. You don't have to play things out and die again. Good. Good, good. So what do we have on our timeline? Like, yeah, there's still never going to be anything on your timeline at the beginning, right? Things are only added when you, like, talk to people. But our leads are still kept, our character information is still kept, and our hearsay is still kept. Yes. Hmm. These ones with the seals are done, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. See, this one says, like, this is about the spirit. I've been asked to seek him out is how it ends. That doesn't sound like the end of that lead at all. So I'm not really sure what that little seal means then, to be honest. Step one that I want to do to try to prevent me from being murdered, although I'm probably going to die some other way, but to pre try to prevent me from being murdered by the hooded figure, I was supposed to try to stop Laertes from moving. Or moving, what? From from leaving. So they're down by the docks. This is pretty much as early as you can get it on the very first day. Let's see if we can stop them in time. Ophelia! Ah, oh, not this again. 
I wish I could skip through this fast. I know. Everything's all right, Father. Uh huh. Like, do I care to tell them about what actually happened? I don't think I really care. Please don't leave, Laertes. Please don't leave. Good, they're still there. I'm in danger. Please. I believe someone is trying to kill me. I know how insane it sounds, but it's true. Please. What? Are you certain? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. How can you know this? You'd never believe the truth, but... Someone has come to my chambers, late in the evening, and tried the knob. I hear footsteps in the hallway, and a looming presence. Please, believe me, Laertes, I tell you the truth. I would doubt you, but... I haven't seen that look on your face in years. I believe you. I better not go to Paris. Not yet, at least. I'll ask the docksman to hold in the bay. Father will be furious, of course. I can't explain it, Laertes, but I swear to you this is the truth. Oh, sister. I know, dear heart. Meet me in the guards' quarters. We both have friends there. Let us discuss the evidence further, then. Laertes now believes we're in danger. Good. We have to form a plan with them. When is that going to be happening? In just a little bit. Like, an hour and a half or so. In the meantime, we have some other things to talk about. Like... What my father burned? I don't have that key on me anymore, by the way, right? I think they, they gave me the key. But then I died soon after, so I would have to... Have things play out the same way for them to give me the key again to see what's in the chest? Question mark? There it is. I saw father burning something in his chambers late at night. Notes of some sort. Do you know what they were? I don't. But do you not trust Father to know what is right in these matters? I do, but... I also think those notes contain something important. If you were to describe what you saw to the wrong people, it would put Father and both of us in grave danger. I understand you're curious, Ophelia, but family comes first. Whatever Father was doing, I'm certain he was correct to do so. What if you bring down suspicion upon him in this climate, and it turns out to have been nothing much at all? Won't you feel silly then? Anything else I want to mention? Hmm. <laughs> mention the affair? I don't... I don't think I'd want to do that. I don't know. They are a brother. We are really close to them, though. I feel like we really wouldn't hold much back from them at all. Hmm. Eh, yeah, let's just leave it there. Something is going to go on in the grounds. In the guardhouse soon. The Great Hall thing, I don't care about that. Hamlet's Chambers, that meeting I think we've seen in the past. Um, let's go to the grounds, see what's up there. Are you well this morning? Of course. <laughs> You're the only man who will take me for a stroll these days, Horatio. It's as though half the time these days, my husband is concealed away in his chambers, lost in thought. My queen. These walks are a treat. 
Your beauty is so great that when people see us out, I look handsome just standing next to you. <laughs> you flatter me. Learn more about Horatio. What What exactly did I learn about Horatio? That they're a flirt? That they spend time with Gertrude and know them well, I guess? That's Laertes. That's not Horatio. That's Horatio. Um. Oh, that... Uh, that's, that's weird. It added some information about them, but not really anything that's related to what we just overheard. Horatio was born in India, the son of a spice merchant who sailed between Venice and Calicut. Or Calicut, I, I'm not sure. He never knew his mother. He was raised as a Venetian, and at some point made his way to Denmark, which is where he entered King Hamlet's employ as a soldier. He's remained here ever since. Barring the time he was with Hamlet at Wittenberg. Say, Horatio. Hmm. I know nothing about you. Have you ever told me of yourself? My late husband often spoke of your prowess on the battlefield. But what before that? Oh. There's not much to tell, my lady. I'm but a poor foot soldier. Then I followed Hamlet to Wittenberg for a time. I didn't care much for the area, I'm afraid. No offense to your bohemian heritage. <laughs> no offense taken. I consider myself Danish now. But where were you born? Italy, your highness. <gasps> Italy? What, so far from here? What is it like? Italy is hard to describe. Loud and hot, and at once brimming with quiet beauty. My father was a spice merchant in Venice, originally of Calicut. He sailed the route and took me with him often when I was a boy. It was in Calicut he met my mother. But their love was brief. Her pregnancy was a secret and they were unwed. After I was born, my father absconded with me to Venice to save her reputation. I'm so sorry. How sad for your mother, don't you think? I wouldn't know. I saw her just once or twice when I was a boy. She was married off to another man. After that, father and I never saw her again. But my father loved me dearly. What of your life after that? Venice, India, Denmark. You've traveled perpetually. My lady. And my secrets are the key to my charm. It's just a lot of nothing anyhow. I far prefer my life these days. Venice holds certain painful memories for me. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, regardless, I'm glad you're here. As am I. Learn about a future event in which Horatio and Gertrude have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Isn't that what we just witnessed, though? Goodbye. I must go, same time tomorrow? Of course, your highness. Oh, that's what it's talking about. It's weird, it like tells me about things before they actually quite happen. It's a little bit weird, a little bit confusing. But yeah, that'll be happening tomorrow at the same time, right? Yes. Starting at 6.30 on the dot. Well, I never had this event actually in my timeline here, but I assume it started at the same time. Oh, right. If you discover an event, that's like already in progress, then it does appear in the past here. And it did start at 6.30. Not that it matters if it starts at the same time. Who cares? I should head to the guard room so we can form a plan with Laertes and Bernardo. When Ophelia is running is a great time to have a sip of my tea. Hey, party started yet? Wait. The event's happening? But it's not? There we go. You're late, dude. Ophelia. You told me you were afraid. I want you to know that I believe you. I believe you're in danger. 
But if what you say is true, then you'd better leave the investigation to me. Hmm. And why is that? Because if someone does want to cause you harm, they're watching any moves you make already. I don't want you caught up in this further. So? I'm going to turn to someone I trust implicitly. They have a keen insight into everyone's comings and goings within Elsinore, and might be able to help us narrow down a suspect. Ah. Someone you trust? And who might that be exactly? <laughs> Just because you're my sister doesn't mean you know all my secrets, you know. <sighs> if you won't be honest with me, perhaps I can do some investigation of my own. Learns about a future event in which Laertes meets with a private confidant. When? Ah, later tonight. When is it, where is it happening? Oh, well, <laughs> I guess this is a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Including Laertes and Lady Brit, so that's their confidant, Lady Brit. Why do you trust Lady Brit so much? They seem to be an asshole. Hmm. What shall I do right now? I guess just wait. Pass time. See if any events are happening anywhere. Okay, now some stuff is happening. Brit. Laertes and the ladies? What are they doing over here? We've seen this event before. Queen Gertrude and Irma talking. I think we've seen that event. Yeah, let's go over here. Hopefully I make it in time. Oh no, it just ended. I saw it disappear on the minimap up here. Damn you. Okay, what's happening in the courtyard now? I might be where the ladies talk to Hamlet. Probably. Yeah, it is. I'm just going to look up here at the minimap to see whether an event is happening. Okay, now something over here. I mean, that's probably just talking about the play, right? Probably. Um, yeah, I got a bit of time before Laertes meets somebody. Let's go check this out. See if it is what I think it is. I have heard the performances to start tomorrow night. Indeed, my lord. Why, well, I'm already hard at work on the script. You mean, you haven't written it yet? Learn about a future event, which Quince puts on the play that Hamlet designed. Yeah, this seems like it's before Hamlet says, hey, put on this play, but this just seems very similar. I'm an improvisational artist, you see. My performances adapt to the local conversation at hand. So much more topical that way. You understand, I'm sure. Mm. Hmm. I have some ideas. We'll speak more tomorrow. Of course, my lord. Yeah, nothing much there. I want to test something. If... If I click on somewhere to go, and I'm in route, like, in route, like this, and I speed up time, will I move super fast? Yes. Okay, so I don't actually need to, I don't need to have time to sip my tea, my tea between going to places. I can just fast forward and have no time to do anything, not even breathe. Um, I should head to, oh, what's going on here? Oh, they're sitting down to dine. Yeah, let's head to where this place is happening. In Laertes Chamber. Oh, hello. My lord. It's not often you invite me into your chambers where anyone might see us. Not often? And it's even less often I would entertain such an invitation at all, just so we're perfectly clear. My lady. 
fickle as your heart is, it is fond of me. This I know. Laertes. You fool. Why didn't you go to Paris? Maybe then you would have found a girl you could actually wed. You already know how I feel about that. Besides, my sister. My sister believes someone wants to hurt her. Ultimately, that's the real reason I didn't go to Paris. I couldn't. Not after seeing her face. Ophelia! Ophelia thinks someone wants to hurt her? For what reason? I'm not certain. I know how it sounds, but I believe her. You've always got your ear to the ground when it comes to gossip within the castle. Does anyone harbor ill will towards, her towards Ophelia? Anyone who would want to cause her trouble or frighten her? I think you ought to watch Ophelia's back. If you don't watch over her, Claudius might... Do you think the king might harm her? That's quite an assertion. Think a moment. She broke Hamlet's heart, and he's still smitten with her powerfully. He watches her like a lovesick fool. The king believes it's what's driven him mad. If Hamlet were to do something foolish, such as ask for her hand in marriage, then Claudius couldn't use him to make political allegiances any longer. And he isn't a popular king. He needs all the ties he can make. But, well, look, there's no sense in dwelling on all this. Besides, we must celebrate you being here with me. <laughs> um. Did Ophelia just hide out in Laertes' room while they fucked Brit? <laughs> Let's continue. And here I thought you weren't the sort to be romantic or something of the like. <sighs> If you don't hush, I'm going to turn right around and leave again. As you wish, my lady. Laertes is... And Brit is... I can't even look. I need something to block the sounds out. Oh my god. So we did stay there the whole time. We stayed there while our brother fucked Lady Brit. Oh my god, that's so weird. By the way, look at that pillow. That pillow is an absolute unit. Acquire the information. Inconvenient affections. Lady Britain now believes that Ophelia is in danger. Yep. Great. That is awkward as fuck. Also, I would totally be seen hiding here. <laughs> okay. If I want to take a nap, it should be in my own room. Also, my brother just fucked on that bed, so... That too. Hmm. Polonius is in the graveyard. Is this when they're at Mother's grave? Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.